So we got to keep God's commandments. That's believing in Jesus, William. It's keeping God's commandments. Whatever the Bible says do, we got to do that. We all got lust and temptation, but we can't allow those things to overcome us to where we miss out on the kingdom. and natives you think that we, would you, when you look at us I want y'all to think about all the nations in the world right especially in America because America's what the great melting pot right? right you got all nations here all tongues right so where do we fall if you had to put it on a ranking system where would you say we fall from top to bottom why does there have to be a ranking system at all yeah. because okay great question right what's your name Bree. Bree? Bree and William. William. All right, we're going to dialogue today, right? Because this is the, this, this the conversation that need to go on in the black community. Name me a time, Bree, where there wasn't a hierarchy and a structure in the order system. Bring it out. In one time in history. I understand that there is a ranking system and a system that's already put forth to make us operate in that way. Okay. But for you to adhere to that system, why? So, okay, my question is this, what you, what you are saying, what you are saying is basically a, uh, what you call it when you make up a story in your mind? A fairy tale, good word, okay, a fairy tale, because you know why? It's never been done before, there's right. never been a time where everybody has been on the same level, and guess what? It'll never happen, right. because God didn't make it like that. What you say, William? What you say? Where do we, where would we fall on a on a ranking system? Will we be the top nation or will we be the bottom nation? Or do you agree with what Bree said? I'm saying in the middle. You said in the middle, right? No, I'm gonna tell you why. We fall at the bottom. That's right. You know why? Because look, when you look around in your community, guess what? Our people at the bottom of society. Right. We in 2022, right? Ain't we still fighting today for the same thing they was fighting for during the civil rights movement? Right. We still want what? Equal opportunities, better right. education, right. better pay, better right. food, right? Police we still brutality. fighting. Police brutality. Police, we get shot down in the street. I'm going to show you that in the Bible, though, because this is the same book. Now, I want y'all to turn around and look at this play. Look at this. You see this church? You see this church right here? This is the same place. This is the same book that this place is supposed to be teaching us. Bree, before you go, give me that Deuteronomy 28 and verse 48. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Because, Bree, you may have something in your mind that you say, well, why does the world have to operate like this? We can all be like this, right? Uh, it's mostly that the more mind is the power. Okay, that perfect. Is, your mind is the power, power right? We have, we have the ability to be able to control our circumstances, right? Okay, I agree with you, and I'm going to show you something out of the Bible. Okay, perfect. Hold on. Hold that point, we're going to come back. I want you to listen to that. Read that. Verse How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Y'all believe in the Bible? Yeah. Okay, that's what we're talking about right now. Read that. Verse 48. Now, therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So now, breathe, will you? Y'all know, are y'all familiar with the Israelites? 
Moses and the children of Israel? Yeah. Okay. This is Moses giving the children of Israel God's commandment. He says, listen, God says that if we do this, we're going to get the blessings. Right. But if we don't, we're going to get the curses. Because right. y'all got children? Okay. But y'all was somebody's child before. Or y'all are somebody's child. When you young and your parents say, hey, before I come home from work, all them dishes better be clean out of the sink. Bring it up. If your mom or your dad come home and the dishes ain't clean, what's going to happen? You're going to get your butt whooped. Right. Or let's say your parents don't believe in spanking, right? You're going to get disciplined, some, whether they say go to the corner and stare at the wall for an hour. See what I'm saying? There's going to be some type of repercussions to that. You're not going to get rewarded. So in like manner, the Lord is giving that same comparison. He said, listen, you, you do what I say, you're going to be blessed. If you don't do what I say, I'm going to curse you. Now we're going to read off the curses that happened to this particular nation of people, and we're going to find out if it's true or false about us in particular. No. So read that again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall sin against thee. So that lets you know a few things. It says these people that the Lord was going to curse was going to have to serve their enemies. Meaning that God didn't create us all to walk down the streets and hold hands in unity. Right. There's a, a, a hierarchy and a ranking structure in the heavens, and there's a hierarchy and a ranking structure even on this earth. That's right. Let you know that this is God's doing. Right. Read. In hunger. In what? In hunger. William, when we hungry, right? What grocery stores do we usually go to to grab our food from? Bring it out. Where well, you gotta go, the, Bree? I, I have a bus to catch. Bree, they come every what, 10, 15 minutes? Uh, yeah, they no. <laughs> when they, they come over here? Every hour? Damn. You got an hour for the Lord, sis. But, William, what, what grocery stores do we populate? Piggly Wiggly. Bilo. Bilo. Walmart. Sam's Club. BJ's, Costco. Publix. Food Depot, all these different places that, who owns them? Bring it out. Is it a black man owning them? What nation of people, if you had to take a wild guess? White, right? The Caucasian race, right? Read. And in thirst. In thirst. If you want Gatorade, water, Powerade, sweet tea, all these different things that we love drinking, Guess what? We get those things from the other nations, the so-called white man. Right. He controls what comes into this land. Right. And not only this long uh, land, but much of the land surrounding this place, in the whole world. Read. And in nakedness. Nakedness, William. That shirt that you got on, that U.S. polo. Guess what? Guess who made that? White man. The white man. Right. And guess who putting their kids through college with that money? The white man. Ain't none of that money. Hey, listen, we bust down the stores because we want to have the Fendi belts, the MCM bags, right? We want the latest and greatest fashion, but all of the money that we use to spend there, guess what? Does it? Does any of it go back to our community? Yeah, no. No. Black folks, we get tax refund checks. We get all these government assistance or whatever, and guess what we do with the money? We go give it right back to them. Right. The black right. dollar stays in our community for what, what less than 24 hours six hours, six hours. I, the white community their dollar bill stays in that community for at least a year before it goes into the hands of the other nations right great and in one of all things william it says if you want anything if you want a house a car a job anything read and he shall put in your cup iron upon thy neck it says that you would be serving your enemies for those things. That enemy was the same enemy, William, that put the yokes of iron upon our necks. Right. Who had yokes of iron upon their necks? Peace. Did the white man have yokes of iron upon his neck? No. no. Whose people? We did. Right. William, read that last part again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck uh -huh. until he has destroyed thee. Now, William, we ain't got yokes of iron upon our necks today, right? But what did that bottom part say again? Until he has destroyed thee. It says that you was going to have the yokes until you were completely destroyed. So now, what are some of the ways in which we are destroyed now? I'm going to show you some. Give me Romans chapter 1. Now bring it out. Bring it out. 
Uh, William, let me ask you a question, right? Is it okay for two women to lie down and two men to lie together? No, no right? Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Are you in the midst of that lifestyle at all? Okay, so you know it's wrong, right? But you're in the midst of that lifestyle. This is the ways that we've been destroyed, William. Because guess who tells you that's okay, William? Because let me ask you a question that I know you know the answer to, William. Does the Bible say it's okay for that to go down? No. Okay. So the Bible says that it's not okay, right? And we should be following the Bible, correct? So my question is, William, who gave you the liberty now to be able to say it is okay and it's acceptable? No. Think about it. Who we've been talking about this whole time? Huh? What nation of people have we been speaking about, William? Huh? Huh? Edom? Yes? The so-called white man. So you know that this is wrong, but guess who we following after? The white man. I'm going to show you that. Read that. Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Uh -huh. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Because the Bible says that God made man upright, William. That's right. But throughout our time in different captivities, we've taken on customs of the other nations. We never dealt into that stuff. Right. And this isn't to down you or to shame you, but no, it's to pray that you come to godly sorrow and repent from your lifestyle. Right. right. Because guess what? The same way some of us was homemongers, we smoked weed, smoked uh, black and mild cigarettes, all these different things, and we have a chance for repentance. It's the same way somebody who's in the midst of that lifestyle has a chance of repentance. Right. Yeah. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. You see that? We worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Here it is that God made the whole world, but we rather say, nah, I don't want to listen to you, God. Read. Who is blessed forever. Amen. Read. For this cause, God gave them up until foul affection. You see that, William? God says because we disobeyed him, he gave us up to vile affections. What are some vile affections, William? Come on. Come on, William. Come Guess on. what, William? Peace. Two Peace. men piping Peace. each other. It don't Peace. go together. Right. Two women Peace. rubbing each other. It don't go together. Right. God made them to what? He made them perfectly. Right. But guess what we said? We said, nah, I'd rather, I'd rather do the ride on ride. Bring it out. Guess what? God says it wasn't someone is gonna explain that. Read. For even their women did change their natural use. It says even the women changed the natural use, William. What's the natural use of a woman? What does a woman naturally do when she lies down and has sex with a man? What did your mama do with your daddy? <laughs> right. Right, but what and what came of that? A child, right? Because a woman's natural use is to bear children. Right. When you lie down with a woman, she becomes impregnated, and from that come forth children. You see what I'm saying? But can two men lie down together and bring forth children? It out. So now, William, I got a question. Are we really pro-black when we do these things? Because let's say that we all was to adopt the philosophy to say, okay, it's all right for us to just lie down men with men and women with women. What would that do to us as a nation of people over time? After a few generations, what's going to happen to our race of people? If you can't keep creating, William, what's going to happen to your race of people? Huh? Guess what? We'd be no more as a race. Right. Read. How you doing? Stay right there, my brother. Hold on, listen to this. Read that. For even their women, they change the natural use uh -huh. into that which is against nature. Uh -huh. And likewise, also the men, uh -huh. leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another. They what? Burned in their lust one toward another. It says it's a lust, William. Right. That's a lust. Let me ask you a question. 
Did you, when you were younger, did you happen to get touched at all? Yeah. What led you into that lifestyle? Huh? Okay, right? Which is an unfortunate thing that because of the wickedness of our people, those things happen. But what you can't do now, William, you can't let those things that happen to us. Give me, we're going to come right back to this. Give me 2 Corinthians 517. So guess what, William? You can't allow these things to now hold you back from what God has in store for you, right? Meaning, knowing this history that we the Israelites, knowing that the kingdom of God is for you. Those things happen, now you have to say, guess what? The Lord has shown me who I am, and now we're supposed to be keeping his commandments if I want to inherit the kingdom. Right. Because in the kingdom, guess what? These fleshly bodies, bro, they're going to be going away. Right. You see what I'm saying? But this is what you got to do. Read that. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Uh -huh. right. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, uh -huh. he is a new creature. What does it mean to be in Christ, William? Does it just mean that I can just believe on Jesus, but I can still be a homosexual or, or a sodomite? Is that believing in Jesus? Real quick, John 14 and 15. No. Hold that because we're coming right back. I'm going to show you, William, because, William, you go to church? William, has the pastor ever told you that the lifestyle you in is wrong? Yeah. He has. So you ain't listening. Has he ever told you according to the Bible and showed you how it was wrong and also how to come out of that lifestyle? Huh? Okay, but well that's a rarity because most pastors are not teaching how to come out of these sins. See what I'm saying? We got to keep the commandments of God. Will you read that? John chapter 14, verse 15. Uh -huh. okay. If ye love me, you love God, right? Keep my commandments. Do what? Keep my commandments. God says, listen, if you love him, keep his commandments. Now go back. Second Corinthians. So we got to keep God's commandments. That's believing in Jesus, William. It's keeping God's commandments. Whatever the Bible says do, we got to do that. We all got lust and temptation, but we can't allow those things to overcome us the way we miss out on the kingdom. Great. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Yeah. Therefore, if any man be in Christ. If you in Christ, if you learn your history, your nationality, you keep the commandments of God and you believe in the grace that Jesus gave us, because in the Old Testament, William, guess what, be, what would happen if you were found in the midst of what you were in the midst of? Huh? You would get put to death. But guess what Christ did? Guess what Christ did now? Now you got an opportunity, William. You got an opportunity to repent. You got something else? You got an opportunity to repent now, William, because under the laws of Moses, you would not have an opportunity. As soon as you was in the midst of that, guess what? You would get put to death, William. Right. So now Christ came, you have an opportunity, though you were in that lifestyle, do now the grace that, that Christ has admitted to us, now we have an opportunity to get back right with the Father. See what I'm saying? Now you have an opportunity. Read that. Mark chapter 9, verse 43. No. And if thy hand offend thee, uh -huh. cut it off. Uh -huh. It is better for thee to enter into life, main than having two hands to go into hell. Now, is it literally saying, William, if you got two hands, chop off one of your hands? No. What it's talking about is that baggage that we got. Those things that we've been through. It says, listen, let that stuff go. It's better to enter into the kingdom, main rather than guess what you die you die in the midst of your sin so now those things that happen to you that lifestyle you was in the midst of that lifestyle you was in the midst of you got to repent from it and move on now what is the nation nation is family nation is community nation is men leading by example Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models.